important to everyone, as we eat our chicken, I wanted to talk about a couple of things um, prior to this whole video. First off, what's going on with the channel? I appreciate the support recently. Thank you guys. Um, it, it does mean a lot. I was just checking my subs. I was like, how, how am I at this many subs already? Like, But I guess one of the videos that took off, I guess, was, was the It's Bedtime video. What's so special about that video? <laughs> Thank you regardless, of course. And um, let's go eat some chicken. This video is all about WWE. I mentioned yesterday how hyped I am for WrestleMania 40, and boys, it, nothing has changed. I'm actually gonna go back home for a little bit in about, in a few hours or something like that, but WrestleMania tonight starts at 6 p.m., so I'm very excited for that. Uh, we're gonna be talking about night one. I was actually doing some predictions yesterday, but I figured I wasn't gonna put that into the video because I'm probably just gonna talk about it right now. Night one card only. Uh, I'm not gonna be talking about the night two. This is just gonna be my commentary slash prediction as to what's going to be happening if i'm wrong it's all good that makes it more unpredictable starting out off we got uh mommy versus the man Rhea ripley being the champion and uh becky lynch being the challenger i feel like you could go both ways in this i i'm gonna go with a crazy prediction that judgment day is gonna fall apart in wrestlemania 40 i think they're gonna take all the losses i think like we're just gonna go with that theme right obviously there's a few stars that Rhea could still go up against but um i feel like this is gonna be becky's night this is what i was thinking too if becky be becomes champion she could go up against jade obviously Rhea versus jade would be insane too but the man versus jade man jade cargill that, that would be a good match getting too ahead of ourselves here becky's winning this six teams it's a ladder match 12 people it's it's gonna be chaos i'll say that it's it's gonna be mayhem but apparently both titles are gonna be up there so and they mentioned that it's not over until like all the titles have been taken so that's kind of if that's not a hint that there's gonna be two teams that win I don't know what it is. We're gonna go with the theme of Judgment Day falling apart again. Awesome Truth are gonna win this. And also, The New Day. I think the fan favorites are gonna win this one. It is important to note for this match, uh, it, there's no, like, championship on the line. Unfortunately, Asuka, I think you're gonna have to take a loss on this one again, honey. I think Jade's team is gonna win this one, which also, she might turn heel. That's what a lot of people have been saying, but I feel like it's too soon. That's just kind of my opinion on it. Remisiru and Andrade. Uh, originally was set to be Dragon Lee versus Santos Escobar and Dominic Mysterio. I honestly had no idea that this was going on, to be honest with you. I don't- I'm sorry. I guess with the whole LWO and stuff, yeah, I guess. I, I just haven't been following it, like I said, but there's a case to be made for both sides. I think we're gonna go with the same theme again, Judgment Day falling apart, just taking all the L's. I think Dominic Mysterio is gonna lose this. The Ring General, or Ring Ca I don't even know how he says it, bro. Big Gunther versus Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship. I think Gunther's gonna keep it. As much as I would want Sami Zayn to win, I think I'm gonna keep my prediction and stick with the big, big Imperium, Ring Gen General, whatever. Uh, Big Gunther. Brother versus Brother, Jimmy versus Jay. Sons of Rikishi. They're finally having their match. I think Jay's gonna win this one. And finally, to conclude night one, this is gonna be the really fun one. Roman Reigns and The Rock versus Cody and Seth. I'm just gonna say it now. I think Bloodline's gonna win this one easily. And I'm obviously not the only one in this. I think a lot of people think this because it's like, it would it makes a lot of sense. Right from the get-go when they announced this whole thing, I thought this tag team was gonna be an, an L for Cody and Seth. The first night is kind of like the predecessor to like what's gonna happen in the next night. I think it's an easy Bloodline dub. Tomorrow's gonna be Bloodline rules. And apparently Cody Rhodes just uh, confirmed the new contract with WWE, so, so odds are he's He's gonna win the championship. I'll get ahead of myself a little bit. The way I think this whole thing's gonna happen is that obviously the tag match, Cody and Seth lose it, but then the next night Cody wins the championship. Very excited. All right. <laughs> If I said it was windy out there, that would be a disrespectful understatement. God, it is windy. When you can't even hide it until love came in.
what an event that was. I guess to say the least, I kind of predicted the majority of it. I will say though, prior to talking about the, the matches, uh, I will say that the crowd was kind of dead. The crowd definitely could have been better. I don't know if it was because the cold that Michael Cole was talking about like 300 times. Chili in Philly is what he was saying. We had a couple of spots over there that, you know, the crowd definitely went off, but most of it was definitely mild. But either way, I wanted Sami Zayn to win and he got the win. I didn't think he would, but um, as soon as everyone was kind of saying like, oh, he, you know, he's got no chance, whatever. Like he, he, they don't see him becoming the, the champion. I knew that I was like, Oh yeah, he's he's gonna be the one then, and he did. He won. Becky Lynch lost pretty much fair and square. It's all good. Ray and Andrade won by interference. The people that helped them win was so weird because it was the players for the Philadelphia Eagles. And in that match specifically, the the crowd was dead, boy. The crowd was dead. I knew Jade Cargill's team was gonna win. Um, I thought there was gonna be a heel turn, but there wasn't. So I got part of the six pack uh, ladder match thing correct awesome truth one well first it was a town under and then after that it was awesome truth which great w's in the chat we'll talk about the tag team match um it started off like a normal just like just a normal match and then all of them left the ring and it became a street fight because the rocks like if you start counting i'm a fire your ass or something like that it was kind of funny but i think they planted a seed for uh rock versus roman because uh roman hit a spear on um on rock it, it was an accident but you know that could be twisted by the rock, of course. There was a couple spots on the table. It was really nice, and uh, everything. It was it was a good it was a good event. And I think at that point, the, the crowd was definitely better. But I hope tomorrow's crowd is better. Got some entertaining matches. I was definitely entertained, and uh, overall, just a great event. On tonight, two tomorrow. With that being said, I'm gonna do some singing. But besides that, hope you guys have a good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow for night two. I want to know where I can go when you're not around. And I'm feeling down Garden, don't you think I loved you too much And think I deserve nothing Fine light in a beautiful sea I choose to be happy For the diamonds in the sky I saw the light inside your eyes You and I We're beautiful like diamonds in the sky